It's a very complex notion is this whole self-awareness and authenticity. I really wish someone earlier in my life would have told me that it's okay to be Anna, right? With everything that comes with it. I'm such a strong believer in being authentic because it's so hard to be anyone else and the world needs you to be who you are. You're struggling with all these things. You're really being adult for the first time. But if there's any generation that knows how to handle this, it's Generation Z. They're so used to questioning and making, wanting to make things better. For me, being self-aware means having just the strength and permission to just be yourself. Being authentic means more being comfortable with, with who you are and expressing that. It takes a lot of courage to be authentic. It's difficult to just stop listening to that voice in your head that's telling you not to say this or, or that you don't sound great. I think it's something, especially people that are different from others, because you, your first inclination is to just repress um, the differences, really just to assimilate, to go with the crowd, especially if you're a wallflower like me. And so when you're able to stop pretending, to stop listening to that internal voice, when you're when you stop caring about looking bad or making mistakes, that's when you can really focus all of your energy on what you're doing. I was trying so hard to, to be who I was and I was trying hard to be that typical, you know, college student that went, you know, to Italy in the summer, had parents at home that were very successful. And I quickly realized that that was a charade I couldn't keep up. I didn't have a computer going to school. I worked full time. And the sooner I told my, my professors what my situation was, the sooner they could help me. Because before then, I was trying to hide the fact that I was doing all my homework in the library or that I, I was having to use, you know, shared resources. They didn't understand that unless I told them because that they'd never really had anyone in their class that didn't have their own personal computer or internet. So it's a matter of saying, this is who I am and there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with, with, with how I came up and it's just the experience that I had to go through and it's made me who I am today. We're helping redefine what it means to be a Mustang. This is Dallas, we're a melting pot and we all have something to bring and we all take care of each other. And while things aren't perfect, we're working so hard to make sure everyone feels welcome, no matter their background, no matter their financial situation, no matter their gender, we want everyone to feel welcome and that they belong. And I think that's something that I'm excited and just so proud of being a part of.